Hi there. Now I've got this integral that you might like to try. The integral of sine x cosine x all multiplied with 1 plus cos x to the power 4. And given you this substitution to use, let u equal 1 plus cos x. So if you'd like to have a go at this one, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll display the full solution so you can check your answer against mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Let's see how you got on. Well, as you can see, the final answer then is 1 plus cos x all to the power 5 divided by 30 times 1 minus 5 cos x. And we've got plus the constant of integration c. So just take you through the working, just in case there were any problems. We use the integration by substitution formula here. If you're unsure of how to use this, I've done it in an earlier tutorial, so do check that out. Now, what we do is we take our substitution then, u equals 1 plus cosine x, differentiate it with respect to x to get du dx, and then I've taken the reciprocal of this to get dx du, which is minus 1 over sine x. And I can substitute this directly in for dx by du and then integrate with respect to u as I've done here. Or some of you may often be taught just to make dx the subject, in which case we've got minus 1 over sine x du. And you can substitute that in this part here for dx. It will give you exactly the same answer at the end of the day. You'll notice that I've just written sine x cosine x as the first two parts there and then substituted u for 1 plus cos x so you get u to the power 4. So I hope that's clear that stage there and you can see then the sine x cancels out. That leaves us with cosine x times u to the power 4 integrated with respect to u and then we've got a minus here as well. But for cosine x we can get cosine x from this equation here and that's going to be equal to u minus 1 which I've substituted in here. Okay so then it's just a question of expanding the brackets giving us this, integrating each of the two terms which gives us this and then I've pulled out u to the 5 as a common factor and put it over a lowest common multiple of 6 and 5 which is 30. So I've then taken this first term here because the negative with the negative will give us a positive u to the 5 over 5. So you can see then that I've had to put a 6 here to create 6u to the 5 over 30 to give us the u to the 5 over 5. And then for this term, minus u to the 6 over 6, then that's going to be minus 5u there multiplied with u to the 5 over 30 to give us that term. Okay, so then we've got here, I've just substituted back for u. So we've got 1 plus cos x to the power 5 over 30, and then 6 minus 5 times u, u being 1 plus cos x. Expand the bracket here and just clean up the two terms. 6 minus 5 giving me the 1 there. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea then how to do that one.